G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I want to talk about the fact that God is seating us in heavenly places. When we give our life to Him and when we say to the Lord, Lord, I want to be part of your army, I want to be part of your kingdom, part of your government, then the Lord gives us seats of authority and you can grow and mature to step into one of those seats. And so today I want to quickly talk to you about that process, how you can be seated in heavenly places. Now, of course, uh, there is seats all around the earth. Uh, there is a spirit realm uh, that surrounds us. Uh, we can call it the second heaven or the realm that is in darkness. And there is a grid of seats uh, in the realm of the spirit over every territory. So in the Bible, we read about principalities and powers, and they are beings that sit on these thrones, and they want to rule and govern the earth. Now, of course, Jesus paid the price. He took the authority away from the enemy, and now the sons of God are called to sit on these seats. I want to read to you about it in Ephesians chapter 6, 12. It says there, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual host, uh, hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Did you see that word, heavenly places? All right. So that is those seats. And those seats are actually reserved for the sons of God. But as Paul says here, there is a wrestling, there is a battle going on for the government of the earth. And so we can see in places where evil reigns, where evil laws are being made, you can know that doesn't come from man or out of the heart of man. That comes out of the enemy and out of the, the wickedness uh, of these principalities that are seated on these thrones. But then in places where God is ruling, where there's a lot of Christians in government, then we will see the love of God, righteous government, righteous laws being made, and there's order, uh, there's prosperity and in those places you can know that a lot of those uh, principalities and powers has already been dethroned okay so what does a principality does uh, uh, do a principality actually control the way someone think so even if you go to different countries in the world and even different states or pro provinces of different countries you'll see some of the states are more christian the people also think more Christian thoughts and there's more leaders on these seats. And so you'll, when you talk to people, you'll see the average uh, way of thinking has to do uh, with order, prosperity, loving each other, working together uh, and uh, being good. And then you'll go to other provinces, other states, other, other countries and nations and territories and you'll find that everybody's got all of these weird, wicked thoughts that they think and I think that is actually the way it is. Because remember, there's principalities in those states and in those countries that are uh, programming uh, the people of that state to think in a certain way and then you'll find there will be violence there won't be order there will be poverty and a lot of problems in those areas now god's desire is for the whole earth to be covered by by the sons of god seated on these thrones that surround the whole earth but the first step for us as sons of God and as daughters of God to come into the seats that God has for us as we first have to be seated in Jesus in heaven. So I want to read you the scripture. Uh, of course, you can re read in Revelation chapter 22. It talks about the throne of God and how a river runs out of this throne. But I'm, I'm skipping to verse 3 where it says, But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in the river. All right. So he talks about the life of God that flows out of the throne of God like a river. And then he says the throne of the Lamb, that's Jesus' throne, is inside that river of the life of God. Now, if you go in that river of life, it's wonderful. It's full of life and sound and color and uh, just that, that energy that comes out of God is in that river. Now, the throne of Jesus is inside that river. And of course, Jesus said that out of us will flow a river of living water. So that the river connects with our hearts and flow out of us. Now, the throne of Jesus is in that river. And then it continues and it says there, verse uh, 
3 in chapter 22. It says there, But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in the river, and his servants shall serve him there. All right. So it means the servants of Jesus will serve him there in the river on his throne. All right. Uh, and then to prove that, to just give you a, another scripture so that you can see how these two are correlated. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, it says there, But God raised us up together. So up, that means into heavenly places and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So where's the throne of God? The throne of God or the throne of Jesus is in the river of God. And we are seated. It says he made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So we seated in Christ on his throne that's in the river in heaven. All right. Now, if you want to sit on a throne on earth, I want to tell you the first place where you need to be seated is in the row of the Father, in the throne of Jesus, in Jesus. All right, that's the first place. Now, of course, inside of your heart is a duplicate of of what is in heaven. There's a throne in your heart. So, second throne is you take this throne and say, Lord, I climb off this throne. I, I abdicate this throne, and Jesus, I ask you to come and sit on the throne in my heart, and then I go and I sit in Jesus. In this throne so i'm seated in jesus on his throne that's in heaven and i'm seated in jesus that are sitting on my throne that's in my heart all right and so the moment he sits on my throne then the same thing happens to me that happened with the throne of god in heaven as a river of living water starts to flow out of me and the resources supply the wisdom the love all of the goodness that's in heaven start to flow through my heart out of this throne where jesus is seated and i'm seated in him and once that is in position, so now you're in a position where you bring heaven to earth. Now the Lord says, now I want you to take dominion where you are. And so the Lord is going to give you authority, maybe over two people, over a family, over uh, more people. And every time he gives you a higher position and he gives you more territory uh, to occupy. And at some point you're going to be thrown a principality off of, his, off of his throne and you're going to be seated in a throne of authority. And that is God's plan. In the beginning, God planned when he said to Adam, I give you dominion on this earth. God wanted Adam and his sons to reign the, and rule this whole earth, to bring heaven to earth. And so now that is still the plan that God has today. So I want to encourage you, do not be afraid to take the authority that God has and sit in that seat that the Lord prepares for you. But for, before you can do it, make sure that you are seated in Jesus, in heaven, in the river, in, on his throne, and that, you, that Jesus is also seated on the throne of your heart. Father, we come before you today, Lord. We humble ourselves. And Lord, uh, we thank you, Lord, that you set us in a throne in Jesus. And so, Jesus, we abdicate the throne of our heart. Lord, we don't want to be in charge of our lives. And Lord, we give ourselves open. Jesus, we step over. We, we step through you, Jesus, into the realm of heaven. And Jesus, we sit ourselves in heaven in you. Lord, thank you for that river of the Father that's flowing through your fl uh, throne and flowing through us. And so, Jesus, now we ask you also to come and sit in, in the throne of our heart. And so, Jesus, we come and sit in you also. And so, Lord, now we're seated in heavenly places, in heaven, in the throne of Jesus, but we're also seated in this throne in our heart. And so, Lord, even as we are positioned, Lord, teach, train, equip us, give us more responsibility so that we can rise up as sons and daughters to take dominion on this earth. Lord, all glory belongs to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. God loves you. And I want to call you, rise up, son. Rise up, daughter of God. The Lord will use you in a mighty way. He will use you as a gate that will bring the very life of heaven, the glory that's in heaven, uh, will flow through your life and will change everything around you. God bless you.